right now in so-called Israel, very interesting developments that we should be aware of. Be spiritually prepared. These are definitely apocalyptic times. Allah and His Messenger have spoken the truth. This religion is haq. The Prophet is haq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al haq. These are times in which deception is everywhere. Shubuhat are everywhere. The Prophet وسلم, he spoke of these times. The Prophet وسلم, is reported to have said, there will never be a more grievous fitna on this earth since the creation of mankind than the fitna of the imposter Messiah. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not raise a prophet except that that prophet warned his ummah about the imposter Messiah. It is the most evil of tribulations. The first major sign of the sa'a after the descent of our master Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam, the true Messiah, is the emergence of the imposter Messiah. But even before the coming of the Dajjal, the Prophet وسلم, informed us of the coming of 30 lesser Dajjalun, all claiming to be prophets and all of them liars. Right now in so-called Israel, the top, top rabbis, the most respected rabbinical authorities in the world for them are claiming that their long-awaited King Messiah has finally arrived. Top rabbis are claiming that they are in secret council with him. This is happening right now. Now this could be yet another false alarm. There have been many messianic claimants in the past. There was a messianic claimant in 17th century Turkey who convinced Jews from all over the world that he was the Messiah and he ended up converting to Islam. But in addition to this, there are five blemish-free, one-year-old red heifers recently arrived in so-called Israel from a ranch in Texas. Blemish-free red heifers means completely red, not a single black or white hair, and never having been yoked before. What is the significance of the blemish-free red heifer? So the blemish-free red heifer, by the way, is the namesake of the second surah of the Quran, Al-Baqarah, Baqaratun, Musallamatun, Lashiyatufiha. According to Jewish belief, there have been nine previous perfect red heifers sacrificed in Jewish history. The last one was sacrificed over 2,000 years ago, but then the temple was destroyed by the Romans in 70 of the Common Era. According to the Torah, the water that the priests, the Kohanim of the temple use for their temple rituals, this water must be purified by the ashes of a two-year-old blemish-free red heifer. The ashes of one red heifer can last for hundreds of years. So there are currently five perfect red heifers in so-called Israel and they're all one year old. If one of them makes them to two years old and is still perfect, then this 10th red heifer in their history will be sacrificed by their King Messiah. And after that, a temple and priesthood can be reestablished in Palestine. And they will push hard to do that. In other words, it is very likely that Israel will announce that their Messiah has arrived. Allahu alam. Now we know that this person, should he emerge, is not the true Messiah. He may not be the Dajjal either. Maybe he's just another false messianic pretender or a forerunner of the Dajjal. The point is he's not the true Messiah. Who is the true Messiah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Behold, the angel said, Oh Mary, indeed Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. He shall be called the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, honorable in this world and in the hereafter among those nearest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know exactly how Isa alayhi salam will make his return to the earth. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam explained this to us. He said sallallahu alayhi wasallam, there's no prophet between him and me. Meaning Isa alayhi salam, he will descend to the earth. When you see him, a man of medium height, of ruddy complexion, wearing two light yellow garments, looking as if drops of water were falling down from his head, even though it's not wet, he will fight the people for the cause of Islam. He will break the cross, meaning he will repudiate the belief that he was killed, but that he died as a sin atonement. He will affirm the sacred sharia, and he will abolish the jizya. Diplomacy will fail. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will perish all religions except Islam during that time. And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Isa alayhi salam will destroy the Antichrist, the imposter Messiah. And then he'll live on the earth, Isa alayhi salam, for 40 years. And then he will die, and the Muslims will pray over him. The Prophet ﷺ also described the imposter Messiah so that we might recognize him as well and not be deceived. He said, ﷺ, shall I tell you of something about the Dajjal that no other prophet told his nation that he is one eye. And he said he will bring with him the likeness of paradise and hell and what he will call paradise will actually be hell. The message of the imposter Messiah only focuses on what is in front of us. The dunya he is literally the opposite of Isa alayhi salam who said the similitude of this world is like a man lost at sea who takes hands 
hand over fists of seawater into his mouth. The more he drinks, the thirstier he gets, and he eventually dies from it. The Dajjal teaches humanity that their Jannah is this world, and there's nothing beyond this world. He teaches them to engage their shahawat. If we are not vigilant, the fumes of the culture of the imposter Messiah and his minions will insidiously choke us and our children out of Islam is not a joke. The Prophet ﷺ told us to display if bat, firmness, resoluteness in the face of the imposter Messiah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, idha laqeetu fiyatan fathbutu, wa azkurullaha kathira, ta'alakum tuflihun. O you who believe, when you meet a force, be firm, be resolute, and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with much remembrance in order for you to prosper. Wa ati'u Allahu rasulahu, and obey Allah and his messenger. Wa la tanaza'u fa tafshadu wa tanabrihukum. And do not be divided, lest you fail, and your power and your confidence depart from you. Wa asbiru, inna Allah ma'asabirin. And be patient, Allah is with the patient.